Hello guys, welcome to Boxing Blog Center, the home of Nigerian African Boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe button right now and also go to the notification bell icon, click it. And sell it all, so I'm dropping you a banger, a new exclusive video will definitely be notified. Dion Teddy Bronze Bomba Water 3. After Tyson Fury was ordered to face him and wants to derail Anthony Joshua fight, says Shelly Finko. Shelly Finko. When was the last time Finko conducted an interview? Long time ago, I must say, and he's been very quiet. Nice to see Spin uh, Finko. Uh, I say Spinko. Uh, speak out. Nice to see him. Um, Give an interview again. So he said, I quote, It was a great feeling. A great, great feeling. There is a parable about a dog with the bone. The big bone was Saudi Arabia. And you end up with nothing. <laughs> Says Deontay Waters co-manager Shelly Pinko. Interesting. Um... Wada, of course, has remained silent as he prepares for uh, prepares with his training team and all those kind of stuff. He's trying to uh, deray the Joshua fight. So Finkel said, just through it, it was phenomenal. It was a great, great feeling. There's a parable about the dog with the bone. The big bone was Saudi Arabia and he ended up, and he ended up with nothing. Uh, Fury's, uh, Bob Harum, uh, Fury's promoter wants it in July because they believe Fury is just going to walk through Deontay and then they can get that fight on with Joshua, provided he beats Usyk in the fall. That's what their game plan is, obviously. But we, we aim to derail that. Well, we'll see. <laughs> oh my God. He also um, went in on uh, Eddie Hearn, but we're going to talk about that being <laughs> as well. Uh, but let's uh, get our brother in right here. My Joe. Joshua, like, <sighs> Joshua sh should not take Usyk lightly, okay? That's a fact. Don't take that guy lightly because that guy is really a dangerous guy. Okay, he might not have the power, but it's dangerous. In this case, Fury Fury tends to be taking water lightly in a way. And Deontay Water's aim is to put asunder in that fight. What do you make of this, brother? Um, yeah, first of all, I'm going to talk about um, Shelly Finko. Um, you know what? I actually do have um, some respect for him, um, especially um, with this whole situation with the arbitration. And I'll tell you why I do have respect for him. Um, you know, when the whole arbitration situation was going on he kept quiet he didn't say nothing to the media but he was working behind the scenes he was grinding making sure that his client uh, mr deontay wilder gets justice because Regardless of how you feel about Wilder, I'm not Deontay Wilder's fan. I don't particularly, um, I don't like the guy. I don't hate the guy. I'm very indifferent about about him. But um, I hate, I hate to see someone getting cheated that way. Where, you know, um, Wilder gave Fury an opportunity, and. Fury signed a deal, a contract with Wilder and Fury and his team, they just, you know, especially Fury, he just thinks that he's above 
any he thinks he's above any um legal legally binding contracts and he thinks that he just he, he, he's able to do whatever he chooses to do and i hate that because you're not above the law and you're not above everybody else you signed a deal with wilder honor the contract okay stop being an idiot trying to um you know i'm not going to fight him i'm moving on i'm having another fight until date he has not had a fight just just to show you how big of a liar how big of a fraud tyson fury is i still don't right now i really dislike the guy i don't hate him but i dislike him he is a big big fraud so selifinko of course man congratulations of course, you know, the whole thing with Saudi Arabia, yes, I was in support, I wanted to stay undisputed and all of that. But when you take your fine boyism, when you take it out and you try to be object objective, you realize that um, that judgment is the right judgment. It deserves a shot. It's, um, Fury signed a contract to fight water again. So she should honor the contract. So I'm very thrilled. And, you know, delighted for their team that they got justice. This is the right thing to do. And as a matter of fact, Fury should be fined on top of that. They should find him some amount of money for wasted time. Because they wasted the until they wasted the until Wilder's time. They wasted Anthony Joshua's time. They wasted um Usyk's time. They wasted Joe Joyce. Time. Because a lot of fights were depending on this. This whole issue, this whole saga, this whole undisputed, this whole rematch, a lot of fights were depending on it. So I'm happy for them. And Shelly Finko, yes, I don't particularly know if I like you or I don't like you. All I know is that I do respect you for how you have carried yourself throughout this period. You didn't say nothing to the media. You didn't conduct any interview. You didn't speculate. You kept quiet, but behind the scenes, you were working hard and you got the right judgment and i'm happy for you guys so yes i i i, I support that statement i'm sorry i'm not their fan i'm not shelly finko's fan i'm not wilder's fan but what is right is right and what is wrong is wrong and i support that i support the judgment i support their victory you know i don't know what's going to happen in the fight if tyson is going to be able to beat wilder if wilder is going to be able to beat tyson but as regards this judgment i am quite happy for them okay um and i think you know you did mention about aj not overlooking music i don't think aj will this time i think aj has learned i think right now aj should emotionally detach himself at least for now from the old disappointment of the undisputed fight you know um he should he should detach himself from that emotionally I mean, he should know now that this fight is not happening right now and he should take away, he should get rid of any anger or any, yeah, any disgust he feels towards Fury right now and focus on Alessandro Ustic because that's going to be a very tricky fight. It's not going to be a straightforward fight. It's going to be a very, very tricky one. And AJ needs to put all his focus, his concentration right now um and uh just forget about fury for now as a matter of fact that name fury should stop playing in aj's mind and aj should get to a point where right now he should be telling people around him i don't want to hear that name fury i just want to concentrate on music everything now should be about music and i believe that that's what they're doing anyways i believe they're not stupid enough because you know once beating once beating twice shy he's already been through this before um with andy ruiz it was the it was the same kind of situation although in a different way but it was the same kind of situation so you shouldn't take his eye off the ball concentrate on music and hopefully all fingers crossed for him get the job done but for wilder shelly finko of course man i'm happy for their victory for them on their behalf of course 100 percent thanks water i do appreciate it todd jackway Your take on this? Well, I mean, I think Mario Joe said everything. Um, everything I, 
everything I could possibly think of. With that, I think um, Wilder's team they need to um, they need to basically as they need to just be uh, 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 be careful with our team feud. Tell you the truth, because you never know what these guys could pull. Come there, come uh, fight night. Listen, man, Fury Fury's past is Fury's past is a, sh- uh, is a uh, sh- shady, weird, whatever you want to pull it, whatever you want to call it. You know, I believe, you know, they they might have they might they, yeah they 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 won their uh, arbitration with this whole with this whole fight uh, situation. It doesn't mean that Fury 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 uh, uh, where he's at right now can 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 cause a whole lot of disruption, especially in the, in in Vegas. Listen, man, anything can happen in Vegas, and I, so, and I always believe uh, uh, Vegas is not always the best place for you to stay when it comes to training. You know, not all the time for a fight. And when it comes to the Tyson Fury situation, I honestly still believe that, you know, this guy, I mean, this guy's been running up and down, partying with his whole team member, partying with his coach. You know, there's got to be a line between that. But this is me going off topic. And, you know, Deontay, Deontay Wilder's team, I, I, I honestly believe that, you know, uh, Shelly Shelley Finkel, of, of, for, for what he said, Hey man, take it take take it as you take it as you want it, man. You know the guy the guy won the arbitration, and I I honestly misjudged Shelly Finko. I honestly thought Tyson Fury was gonna win that arbitration, and you know no matter no matter the case and no matter the outcome, I thought I thought Tyson Fury was gonna win. Boy, was I wrong! It was Shelly Finko, man. He won that case. You could tell he has the he has the more experience and. More experience. Even though Tyson, uh, Deontay Wilder, they switched the date twice in a row. So you know they, they, they in the end they they offered uh, Deontay Wilder the, the fight, and you know congratulations to him. But I uh, uh, listen. I've said it over and over again. In the end, all roads lead back lead back to Anthony Joshua versus um, versus versus uh. uh, uh I mean, with Eddie Hearn, you know. Listen, these guys are not stupid. They've been in the game for a long time. They're not stupid. $70 million, $80 million, that's a lot of money. That is a lot of money, you know. that That's a lot of money. Charlie Finkel knows it. Everybody knows it. If, if Deontay Wilder can beat Tyson Fury, when he beats Tyson Fury, he could absolutely say, okay, time for me and AJ to fight. I'm not, you know, I'm not gonna try to jack this, jack this one up. Is it, it's gonna be weird? I just hope, you know, it's not gonna be a situation where there, it's not gonna be a money issue. Even though I can see a money issue, who's gonna be the A side? Who's gonna be the B side? Is this fight gonna be 50-50 or not? Tell you the truth, it all depends if if this fight is 50-50. Again, DeAndre Wilder is no longer undefeated. He only has one belt now, right? And he has one draw and undefeated. I mean, uh, and one loss. While AJ just has one loss. So is this fight going to be 50-50 when it comes to uh, AJ versus Deontay Wilder? Would Deontay Wilder make another big problem with this? Will Deontay Wilder ask AJ, oh, I want to see what you're making compared to me? Is that going to be an issue? I th- you best believe that's going to be an issue, man. That's going to be an issue. So, uh, listen, when it comes to... Listen, the reason these guys can make fights with each other is because they don't make as much money as AJ. They, they don't produce that money. So when it comes to AJ and it's time to fight AJ, they know, like I said, they see AJ as a dollar sign. They know the man is the landlord for a reason. So when it comes to that, they're going to make a big fuss about it, making more money. That's why it's always hard to make a fight with AJ. Because they, they, these guys, they want to make a big fuss about it. Andy Ruiz made a big fuss about it. Am I, am I, I'm not wrong. Andy Ruiz made a big fuss about it. Usyk now is going to make a big fuss about it because, listen, man, that's just the way it is, man, when it comes to AJ. They want to make a big fuss about it because AJ is an 
absolute massive money maker, money bringer. He brings in a shitload of money. That's why they will always have problems making a fight because they want to see what he makes. They want to double what, what they're offering because they know AJ could double it for them. Usyk is making that, trying to make that attempt. That's why it's going to per is it might be going to Persbit. Tyson Fury was making that attempt too. Remember, he was having problems like, nope, I want more money. I want to see the money up front. Andrew Ruiz was doing the same shit. I want more money. Deontay Wilder did the same shit. I want more money. Now he's now they're gonna now it's gonna be an attempt again if Deontay Wilder beats Tyson Fury to make another fight. They're not stupid. Shelly Finko's not stupid. Well, they should just make it 50-50 that, you know, I mean, if Deontay Wilder beats Fury, then, I mean, <clears throat> Joshua should just make it 50-50. Like, we don't want to go back to... Joshua is the bigger name, of course, but if he was, he was willing to give Fury 50%, so... Because Fury wasn't undefeated. I mean, he's undefeated. It still doesn't matter whether you're undefeated or not. I mean, it's undisputed. So, um, Fury is not supposed to. Fury in, in, in any under circumstances, bro, Fury is not supposed to even talk about, you know, 50 50 with Joshua, but Joshua gave him that. So, Joshua, I believe if water based Fury should just give water that, and then we forget about the ego and other stuff. You know, we don't want to go through that again, you know. Because if 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 he wasn't gonna give Fury that, then I would stand. But he did. Okay, he was willing to, and willing to. So we will see well, how, how, what happens. We don't want to see this back and forth stuff anymore. And um, yeah, bro, continue. Yeah, I. You know what? I hope you're right about that. You know, if AJ's team. Let's let's make it fifty fifty and get this belt. Hmm? You know. But you know, you know, you just never know, man. Listen, the guys, the, the guys, a massive money maker, man. He's, a, he's, he's, they, they, he was marketed right. He marketed himself right. Let's see what, let's see what happens, man. I pray that you know it, it works out. But Shelly Finkel, they're not stupid. They knew. Listen, we can't just let that. We just can't sit by and be idle, while this guy uh, 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 takes takes the money that we were supposed to get. You know. I want, I want, I want my revenge. Listen, the, the, the re revenge, revenge is sweet, but, but the money that comes along with it is even better. And the, that, the, that's what, that's what uh, 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 Deontay Wilder said. You know, revenge is sweeter than uh, 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 so revenge is sweet, sweeter. Besides another thing, yeah. But listen, man, money, the money, the money is even better when you're in the right position. Listen, I have, I don't have anything else to say to it, but let's just look forward to these upcoming fights, man. That's it. Thanks, brother. Do appreciate it. Stay tuned, guys, for more exclusive bangers out here on BBC Boxing Block Center.